What's up, people? My name's Jack. Premier Pro Transitions for 2023. This is the place to be. Pardon the rhyme. We're giving away two free video editing packs to you guys. Let's showcase them to you, and I'll tell you how to get them. So on the screen right now is Premier Pro. You can see an example sequence in front of me and a whole bunch of packs over here. The two free packs in question are going to be over here on the left-hand side. I'll show you guys how to get them in a moment. And there is 10 different transitions or effects in each different pack. You guys can see the uh, the different effects being showcased right here on these adjustment layers above the, the two clips acting as a transition. So this is two different packs, 10 effects in each pack, making 20 total effects. These can be used as transitions or effects. You really just throw it on an adjustment layer. I personally love this stuff, and I would encourage all of you guys to use presets like this in your edits. Obviously, balance is crucial. If you're only using preset stuff, that can be frowned upon. But for 2023, a healthy combination of longer effects that you actually see through yourself and, and put together, as well as coupling those with presets, especially for little details like transitions, is a super effective way to not only save some time, but also still achieve an amazing, really high quality effect. So how do you guys go about getting this? Very good question. On the screen right here is Video Production Plus. VP Plus is my private members community for creatives who are serious about video production in 2023. VP Plus officially goes live in two weeks on January 15th. As you guys can see on screen, there are countless different video editing assets and video editing packs that are being released exclusively to Video Production Plus members only. So that's the gist. Video Production Plus, head over there. We've got an amazing year planned for you guys, especially the freelancers. If you're serious about building a freelance career in 2023, you need to be in Video Production Plus. But anyways, we're back on the screen having a look at some more examples. Once you import the packs, they are going to appear like this. Pixel Experts Effects Pack Number 1 and Pixel Experts Effects Pack Number 2. So I just set up a small sequence with three different clips that I got from a stock footage website. These are some random space clips. So if I want to go about transitioning between these clips, we already know that I simply need to use a adjustment layer. So what I need to do is I need to get a adjustment layer. And of course, you know, that's too big. That's, that's maybe how we'd have it if we were color correcting a clip. But we really just want this adjustment layer to hang, let's say, one, two, three, four, five. Five frames over one clip. And then we also want it to land five frames over another clip. But we want it to be one continuous adjustment layer. And we want it to, to hang over our first clip and hang over the second clip. So the idea is when that effect is in the middle of those two clips, something kind of crazy happens in the middle. The viewer can't see a hard cut and we kind of get this effect of the transition happening. So then we simply come over here and we select the particular effect we want to use. I'm going to use bevel one and I'm going to come back over here. So we get a little bit of runway, press the space bar and we can see this bad boy effect in action. And how much more effective is that? How much more captivating of a scene is that? right now, especially when we then add another adjustment layer to the other hard cut and go ahead and throw, let's say, bevel two on there. So we've got bevel one and bevel two. We come back to the beginning and we press spacebar and we play this sequence right here. And it's undeniably a better sequence through the tiny little drag and drop usage of these amazing preset transitions. And these preset transitions can be used as effects on videos as well. It doesn't just have to be on a, you know, transition. It's just really effective for transitions. In fact, if we come to our original example sequence, and I actually go ahead and just have a look at, you know, kind of maybe duplicating this effect a few times throughout the course of this clip, then you can actually start utilizing this pack for more of like a visual effects perspective and VFX kind of move where we're literally adding some very cool visual effects to this particular scene that adds to the overall idea that this car is being, you know, uh, abducted by by aliens. It, it definitely, you know, plays a, a very nice role and adds some very nice visual effects, which overall enhance this sequence. So by no means are these only transitions. They could definitely be used as effects as well as transitions and really just thrown into edits. That's why presets are amazing. You don't rely solely on presets, but definitely coupled with your own effects and your own composition. It is definitely a time saver and it can help you achieve very, very, very crispy, very tasty results without any of that time of you actually manually doing that effect. But that right there is the video, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. VP Plus Video Production Plus. It's kicking off January 15th. Head over there. Show us some love on our first post. And you guys can download these two packs completely for free. Test them out and show me some stuff if you put these to the test in any cool projects this year.